The very popular chicken wonton taco appetizer from Applebee's Bar and Grill is an interesting and Asian inspired take on a traditional chicken taco. And Applebee's describes it on their menu as sweet chili marinated grilled chicken that's stuffed into their crispy wonton shells that have been fried in the shape of a taco shell. It's then topped with their signature coleslaw and then finally it's finished with a drizzle of a slightly sweet, slightly spicy, and slightly tangy dumpling sauce. And if the notion of making your own taco shells at home out of egg roll or wonton wrappers is a little bit daunting to you, don't worry. I'll show you close up how you can do it at home. And with practice, you'll get better with each one. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, I would just like to give a quick shout out to my viewer, Hannah. This video happens to be a request video from Hannah. And if you happen to have a restaurant or recipe that you would like me to feature in an upcoming episode, then go ahead and drop it in the comments section below. I promise you that I take a look at every single one of my requests, but make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when your episode comes up, you'll be notified just like Hannah. All right, let's do this. The first thing that we want to do is to get this chicken marinating so it gets that great sweet chili flavor on it. And I have here three boneless, skinless chicken thighs that have been trimmed of all the excess fat. And that comes to be about a pound and a half of chicken thighs. In a medium sized mixing bowl, add one half of a cup of your sweet chili sauce. Next, add a half of a tablespoon of a premium soy sauce. One tablespoon of rice vinegar one fourth of a teaspoon of pure sesame oil, and one fourth to one half of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flake, depending on how spicy you like it. If you know anything about me, you know I love spice, so I'm gonna go with a half of a teaspoon. And now just whisk these ingredients together thoroughly. Now pour the marinade over the three chicken thighs. And then just make sure to flip them over so that both sides get an even distribution of the marinade. And now place the marinated chicken in the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make their signature coleslaw, which is what goes on top of the crispy wonton tacos. And we want to do that next so that we can get this in the refrigerator, get a nice chill on the coleslaw, but we want all of the flavors to well incorporate and meld together as well. So start with five cups of finely slivered green cabbage and add to the cabbage one cup of matchstick carrots. Next, you want to add one third of a cup of finely chopped fresh cilantro. My favorite semi corny joke is that cilantro is like Tom Brady. You either love it or you hate it. <laughs> so if cilantro is not your thing, just leave it out. I mean, these are your tacos, right? You have to be able to love them. Next, add three fourths of a cup of mayonnaise. Again, if you know anything about me, you'll know that I like Duke's mayonnaise. Use whatever kind of mayonnaise you prefer. Just don't use Miracle Whip because Miracle Whip has a tendency to be too sweet. Going back to your rice vinegar, you want two tablespoons of rice vinegar in the coleslaw, the juice of one half of a fresh lemon, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, and one large pinch of kosher salt. And then just mix all of these ingredients very well. And you'll find that this is not a heavily dressed coleslaw, which is what you want. You don't want it to be really heavy with the mayonnaise or the dressing. Place this in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. And now we're going to fry the egg roll wrappers to make the wonton taco shells. I'm going to use my electric wok. I recommend using that if you happen to have one uh, because it just has a much deeper surface and I think it'll be easier for you. But if you don't happen to have one of these woks, then use a very large stock pot or use the deepest saucepan that you have. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with one package of egg roll wrappers. These are called Nosoya brand, probably the most popular brand you can find them anywhere. Turn your wok on the highest heat setting possible, or if you're using a very large pan like I showed you, go ahead and put that on your highest heat as well. And then you want to add about four to five inches of a canola oil, peanut oil, any oil that has a very, very high smoking point. Once the fry oil reaches a temperature of 350 degrees, Carefully drop a wonton wrapper into the oil for three seconds until it puffs slightly. Flip the wrapper and fry for another three seconds. Using tongs, flip one corner of the wrapper to the opposite corner and fry the underside of the shell until it is brown and crispy. Once the underside is brown and crispy, turn the shell over and repeat the process. Once the wonton taco shell is fried, remove it from the fry oil, dripping off any of the excess, and place it on a drainage rack. To make the dumpling sauce to drizzle over the wonton tacos, start with one tablespoon of white sugar. 
and add one tablespoon of boiling water from a kettle. Now stir the sugar and the water until the sugar is completely dissolved. Next, add two tablespoons of your premium soy sauce, one teaspoon of rice vinegar, one teaspoon of chili oil, one fourth of a teaspoon of sesame oil, and one eighth of a teaspoon of powdered garlic. Next, add one fourth of a teaspoon of cornstarch, and in a very small saucepan, reduce and thicken the wonton dumpling sauce until it reduces by about half. Next, we need to grill our marinated chicken thighs. Cook the chicken for four minutes per side until an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Make sure to spoon extra marinade over each chicken thigh. Once the chicken has been allowed to rest, go ahead and chop it into half inch chunks. And then to build the tacos, just take the shells, drizzle the bottom of each of the shells with your wonton dumpling sauce, stuff each one with the chili marinated chicken thighs, top it with the signature coleslaw, a little bit of cilantro if that's your thing, you don't like it, leave it off, and a squeeze of fresh lime. And I know that making those shells was kind of labor intensive and you're thinking to yourself, is it worth it? Should I just buy some corn taco shells? But honestly, the flavor profile is so different because these aren't corn, these are wonton wrappers. So of course, they're going to taste completely different. But if you want to use regular taco shells, then by all means, go ahead and do that. And you know, your shells don't need to look perfect either. I've made about 50 of these and look how wonky mine look. Perfection is unattainable and it's overrated anyways. It's like when you make your own pizza at home, the dough isn't going to be perfectly round like it is if you got it from Pizza Hut, but that's okay because it lets people know that you made it yourself and it was made with love. Here we go. Mm. Was that the crunch heard around the world or what? <laughs> Here, let's see if I can get it even louder. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All joking aside, these are delicious. I mean, they're really, really delicious. Thank you so much, Hannah. Really, just try your hand at making the wonton shells. I know it seems like a lot of work and a lot of mess, but honestly, the flavor profile is completely different. I mean, you already have the Asian-like flavors with the sweet chili sauce and you've got the dumpling sauce. So eating it with like a, a corn taco shell or even a flour taco shell just wouldn't really make much sense um, from a flavor perspective anyways in my opinion. The full recipe and instructions can be found at my official website, uh, restaurantrecipe-recreations.com. Posting it right here. And until I see you all again, my friends, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all. And for more great bar and grill recipes, check out right here.